Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, it's pitch black. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I am uh, on my way in about 10 minutes to the uh, South Kaibab Trailhead. Once more I'm heading into the abyss. Um, I won't be able to do any filming on the on the trailhead uh, when I start because at the trailhead when I start because it'll be pitch black for the next three hours. So once the sun comes out, I'll start uh, making some additional videos, and uh, I'll see you at the bottom of the canyon. My friends, here is a video of the canyon in pre-dawn light. At this point, I'm still on the South Kaibab Trail. And I'm about a mile above the river. I know it looks close in this video, but I still have to do a lot of switchbacking before I get down to the bottom. How beautiful is this? And here, my friends, we are about to enter into the tunnel that will take us across the Black Bridge. It's going to get dark here in just a second. Black as can be. There's the light coming out at the other end. And here we are. This actually is a bridge that's used by the mules when they make it down here to the Grand Canyon. There we go. Somebody on the bridge way ahead of me. But here we are. Our first crossing of the Colorado River. pan to the east and the west and give you a view of the river when we get to the middle of it. There's a lot of water in the river today. We had a really good winter again last year. My guess is they're releasing a lot of water out of Glen Canyon Dam. So, it's about the middle. And here is our view going east up the canyon and where we just came from and here's our view looking west and if you look in the in the distance you can see the silver bridge that's where we're going to be crossing back to the other side well my friends I have made it to the bottom of the Grand Canyon I'll tell you that South Pipe Kaibab Trail it is a brutal brutal downhill there must be a thousand of those of those erosion steps and they are so brutal on your knees my uh, YouTube compatriot Todd M calls the South Kaibab Trail the knee wrecker. But I do have a couple pieces of good news. The first is the last time I did this trail about two years ago I had said one of the things I was going to do was add um, um, quad lifts to my training regimen to keep my legs from feeling like rubber when I got down to the bottom and uh, I did that and my legs are actually feeling pretty good at the bottom now. Uh, one of my knees is a little bit tweaked, but uh, but my quads are feeling real good. My legs don't feel bad at all. The other thing is that I and I really urge this for hikers in general, but particularly but particularly for older hikers. I avoided two really really potentially nasty falls on the hike today by using my hiking sticks. So again, big plug for hiking sticks. They are just lifesavers. Anyway, at this point, it's ten miles back up to the top of the canyon. It's uh, about eight o'clock in the morning, so I figure it'll probably take me about eight hours to get back up to the top. And right here on the banks of the river, we have this beautiful buck. I was just talking to one of the park employees who's telling me that this buck actually lives here year round. How spectacular is that? What a beauty! Hey, bud. Okay, my friends, well, we are starting now the uphill back up to the top of, uh, of Bright Angel. It is going to be a butt kicker, so I might as well get started. And here we are, my friends. We're making a crossing over the Silver Bridge. This will likely be the last time I'm going to ever cross this bridge. I think I will uh, really enjoy it. I think I will film it 
all the way across. So here we go. I have to be very careful. First time I crossed this bridge, a fellow bumped into me while I was filming, and I almost dropped my camera into the middle of the Colorado River. And as we speak, it looks like there's somebody coming from the other side. So uh, when we get close, I will turn to the side, just like that's what they're doing now. I will turn to the side and let them pass me, unless I pass them first. I'll give you just a quick view when I get into the middle of the river crossing, a quick view of the uh, views going south, I'm sorry, the views going west, and the views going east. So I'm just going to be at the middle in just about 10 more steps. So, let me turn around and show you. This is the Colorado going west. Next stop is uh, Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. And this is the view of the Colorado going east. And there is Bright Angel right on the top there. So, how spectacular a view is that? Okay, let's continue across the river. Try not to drop anything in the river this time. We're uh, about 60% of the way across. I wanted to show you real quickly that if you can look along that hillside, you may be able to make out the hiking trail. We'll be going down that way about a mile and then turning south and starting to climb way back up to the top. It is going to be ferocious. But that's what I signed up for. And I'm actually looking forward to it. I've had a very good time on this hike. As hard as that downhill on the South Kaibab is, and it is a brutal downhill, I still enjoyed myself on the way down. My legs feel good. My knees are feeling good. So, uh, you know, we'll cross this river. And the next thing we will uh, we will do is go full speed ahead on our way up the canyon. Okay, and there, right in front of us, is the end. And so, my friends, I'm about a mile up from the Colorado River, and if you can see that cliff face in front of you on the horizon. I have to get to the top of that before this hike is over. Let's see if I can bring that in a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit of a better view. Yeah, the trail ends at the top of that peak, top of that cliff. And so my friends, what we're looking at here is what's affectionately referred to as the Devil's Corkscrew. You can see these series of switchbacks down below me. But what you can't see is all the way past the bottom of that canyon, going this direction, it is nothing but a series of switchbacks taking you up. So this is about down here. It's about the lowest part I can pick it up from this vantage point. You can see that there are people on this hike. But I'm at the end of it now. And uh, that's good. The bad news is that peak that you see up there, I have to go to the top of that to get out of the canyon. But just take a look at how spectacular this vista is that I'm looking at. Take your breath away. So if you look closely down there, and I will try and bring that in, that trail you can see way down there at the bottom of the valley, that's the beginning of the Devil's Corkscrew. The Devil's Corkscrew is the steepest part of the hike in the five miles between the Suspension Bridge and Havasupai Gardens. Well, my friends, I'm about a quarter of a mile from the end of the hike. And so before I make my final comments, I just want to show you what I've been looking at as I've been climbing out of the canyon. So my friends, I don't want to mislead anybody into thinking 
that this is an easy hike. It's not. It is, uh, it is a brutal hike. It's not as bad as the North Rim, but in its own right, it is a brutal hike. But I think that the fact that I, the fact that I um, have completed it just a couple days before I turned 74 is, a, is an indication that with the proper amount of training and commitment, a lot of older people can engage in these kinds of activities. And you don't need to do this kind of radical hiking that I'm doing. You know, I was riding up in a gondola last ski season with a man who was 76. And he said, his philosophy is, you stop, you die. You don't have to do this kind of extreme hiking. The thing is, especially for older hikers, once we turn 60 and beyond, we absolutely need to keep our bodies moving. So, I hope, if nothing else, these videos that I've done um, since I started the channel will inspire people to get up, try things they haven't tried before, and uh, get out there, you know? Find a hiking place near your home and start, start to make friends with it. But you don't have to even do that. Get a gym membership, get a silver sneakers class, walk the dog. So many things that you could be doing. So I want to tell you that this is the uh, final curtain for me as far as Grand Canyon hiking is concerned and as far as extreme hiking is concerned. My body held up very, very well on this hike. For those of you who have been following my videos, you know how, you know how hard I trained. And my body held up really, really well. Um, it's just really in the last oh, half mile of this hike that I'm starting to feel a sense of real fatigue in my legs. So I'm really happy because this is, this is a tough hike. So again, this is going to be my final extreme hike. I uh, don't know what I'll be doing beyond that, but um, yeah, 74 and doing a hike like this, you know, uh, my uh, channel name was Pushing the Limits, Aging Ungracefully Pushing the Limits. Well, I have to say at 74, I think I've met my limit. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. My wife should be up at the top of the trail in just a little while. And uh, this hike will be over. Hello. Look at what's cooking. Congratulations. 74 Young. What's up?